obviously our tasks as well as our project are going to have different start times and different finish times. Remember that these are just estimates at this point. So uh, as we update our project, as things are being executed, and we find that some things take longer than we thought and some ta things take less time than we thought, we'll be adjusting this. However, we may find that there are some tasks for which we have a particular deadline. Okay, so maybe we have to have some prototype done so that we can show it to folks at a certain meeting or something like that. So we can actually set that up so that uh, to show those deadlines, um, rather than trying to artificially constrain the start or the finish to a various uh, tasks here, we can actually just enter a deadline for that task. The way you do that is you uh, come up here to the um, list of tasks. I'm going to select one here. I'm going to pick on task D, and I'm going to set a deadline for it. Let's say that uh, my deadline to have this done is by the 5th of, Nove of uh, May here. And so I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to come into the Advanced tab, and I'm going to set the deadline. So now I can actually set that to May 5th. And you will see that I have a indicator here saying that this task is going past its deadline, so it doesn't really like that fact. But you'll notice right there the deadline has been noted in the Gantt chart as well. So if we set the deadline to a little bit past the uh, time when it's going to be completed, we will still have a marker on our Gantt chart to show when that deadline is. So as this creeps toward that deadline, we may start to get a little bit nervous about things, but we no longer have this particular um, indicator here. That indicator is nice because if we did have a situation where in our deadline uh, was uh, at a point prior to our estimated time of finish. Uh, we want to know about that. We may have to look at how we could accelerate some of these previous tasks or the predecessors so that we'd be able to meet that deadline. So that's a nice convenient way to kind of keep track of those in Microsoft Project uh, as we have sometimes many, many different deadlines that we have to deal with within our project.